Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to Brentsville Courthouse Historic Center. My name is Nathan McDonald from the Office of Historic Preservation, and today we're here to talk a little bit about um, some seasonal history. Uh, namely that here at the courthouse, we're actually upstairs here in the magistrate's office um, talking a little bit about uh, how you got to the courthouse to do business. In uh, those days, of course, everything's conducted face to face. There's no real way to communicate easily long distances to hold court sessions, court business. So once a month, uh, a quorum of the 21 county magistrates had to meet here at Brentsville. Uh, discuss court business, handle routine matters mostly. And then once a quarter, um, that would usually be in March, June, August, and November, uh, they would meet to hold and conduct usually criminal trials, larger businesses like that. And then May and October, the circuit court would come and hear major cases, felonies, complicated wills, and law disputes, and things like that. But what that would mean is on those big court days especially, you could have upwards of a thousand people all trying to get to Brentsville. Now, looking at a map of the county, Brentsville is fairly central. It's located along several major roads, but it's also right at the meeting point of two major streams here in this part of the county, Broad Run and Cedar Run, which both meet down here shortly uh, below the courthouse. So that meant if you were approaching this courthouse from everywhere other than directly west, and even then when you go west far enough, you still have to cross Broad Run, uh, you are crossing a body of water. So especially this month, uh, in January of 2024, it's a great thing to talk about because we've had plenty of rain this month that's caused some flooding and some difficulty. And the same thing happened fairly often in the 1820s, um, especially here at Brinsville where the waters are flowing together you would get quite a bit of high water. Now, what that meant is the court had to be prepared to work around that bad weather. So a lot of times when the court session was to be heard, which would be um, for the monthly courts on the first Monday of the month, they would set that date, but then also include the notice that it would be the first Monday of the month, or in the event of rain or inclement weather, the next clear day thereafter. And that language is in a lot of notices that the court publishes for auctions, sales, trials, um, mainly because they could not guarantee the weather would be good that day any more than they can now. But also, they really had no way to let anyone know that they had canceled the case. You know, they could put it in the newspaper, uh, but by the time anyone had read that, the date had long passed. So that way, people then pretty much had to take it onto their own account if you're supposed to appear as a witness, defendant, whatever involved in a trial or in business before the court to then guess whether the weather was going to be good here in Brunsville or not, enough that you could get here. Um, now the county did build several bridges nearby over Cedar Run, um, east and south of the city, uh, but most of the other roads here were crossing at Fords, a low place or a, well, a high place in the riverbed where you could come across in good weather and in good uh, height of water without risk of being washed away. But there was no guarantee, especially after a high rain, that you could safely cross the ford. Uh, one of the cases that was popularly cited when the courthouse was moved to Manassas uh, was that of a local attorney who was nearly tipped over and washed downstream in Broad Run, trying to cross it in heavy rains to get to a court date that hadn't been canceled. So all in all, um, whether we have bad weather today or not, it certainly is um, a lot better to be able to know whether things have been canceled in advance before the day of.